after a lot of slogging through deep snow, I got out of the marsh and the wetlands onto the golf course, <laughs> which borders them. Which, when I go someplace local like White Memorial, this is actually one of my favorite places to go tracking because it's big and open and a lot of animals use it because it is surrounded by the wetland. The river kind of winds through. You can see those bridges there. And right off the bat, when I broke through all the brush here, I found these gorgeous red fox tracks. So let's take a look at the fox tracks. I'll tell you how I distinguished that they were red fox as opposed to other things. First of all, I narrowed it down away into the canine group because I can tell there's four toes. I know it might be hard to see. So that gets me all ready to canine or feline. And I can tell it's a canine, not a feline, by a few things. The leading edge, the trail is going that way. The leading edge, and both of the, this is the front and this is the hind, show that there were our claws. Which you wouldn't see in bobcats, and if you did, they'd be spread out if they happened to be using their claws for grip or something, traction. Um, the other thing, and this is hard to tell in these, and it's a little easier in the hind track in this case, is I could draw an X through there, through the middle. I'll kind of show you what I mean. Imagine connecting those lines I just made, and they would fit on the, they follow sort of the ridges that are inside the track. I'll show, I'll show you an illustration or a photograph that shows this better. But it's there. Uh, it might be easier for me to see in life than it is on the camera, I don't know. I can narrow it down to fox as opposed to coyote, because the size here, if I measured this, I bet it would be very close to a small coyote, if not well within range of a small coyote. And I, I, I've gotten away from using measurements, except for a few animals that maybe I don't know well enough yet. I mostly use the shape of the track and the shape of the foot. In this case, there's a pretty clear, you can see the shadow really well right here, a very clear bar going across the heel pad. That's a pretty dead giveaway that it's a red fox. And the center of the foot. This snow could show a great amount of detail. It's capable of it, but it's not in the track. That's because the fox's foot is very furry. So the center here is all squished down from the fur. And I'll show you a picture of the fox's feet. Super furry. So not a lot of detail in the center. And there's some along the edges, but not much. So these are really good. This fox is using a side trot. So the pattern, the track pattern that I see here is telling me that it's, we call the track pattern a side trot, which means the animal's trotting. And what it's doing is its hind feet are kind of reaching out a little further before they hit the ground than the front track is. So it sort of bypasses the front foot to one side. If you ever watch your dog run, you might see that its butt sticks out to one side. That's what it's doing. Your dog trot, I should say. And uh, that's a favored track pattern left by red fox. And coyotes leave it a lot. Um, gray fox might, uh, not very often. I've never actually seen gray fox using a side trot. And so it's probably not super common. Red fox has come through here, patrolling rabbit habitat. It looks like it does something interesting here. It's moving along in that side try I talked about. Transitions. This other pattern. You see that? Which I'm pretty sure is more of a walk, so it's, it's moved into maybe more of a hunting kind of situation. And we're gonna go over here and see what, what else.
else happens because there might be some changes up ahead, some clues, maybe some more hunting behavior. Sure enough, my friend comes in here and pounds his nose under the crust for a mouse or a bull. Don't see any sign that it got success here. Here's some very clear red fox tracks showing the furriness of the feet, the lack of definition in the center, and the bar at the back. And another similar picture. A lot of detail there. You can really see the hairs. And in this one you can see the nails, little pinpricks uh, sticking out in front. And an image from my camera trap. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more. Uh, I have a lot of other good wildlife tracking videos focusing on different species some tips throughout on how to identify and some of their habits that will help you figure out what is going on in your backyard or deep in the woods wherever you go. So thank you for watching.